Hey everyone, what's going on? It's your boy Krebsy Crypto, and for today's video, we're going to be taking a look at some smaller projects and smaller coins that you are able to mine on GPU, CPU, and even some ASIC. So I'm just kind of going over a few coins and going to show you guys how to set them up with Hive OS. So I'm not going to dive into Windows. If you want a Windows specific tutorial, just let me know in the comments on which coin you want a Windows tutorial for. But I'm going to be running it all through Hive OS here. And I have about four coins I'm going to show you guys. Ones I have made videos on, like a couple of them I recently made videos on. But I'm just going to quickly summarize and show you guys how to set this all up. In case you guys missed uh, those uploads or anything, this is just a way to put it all into one video and just have multiple ways of going about it if you are wanting to mine some of these coins. Some of them are meme projects, some of them are legit projects, so it's just kind of a mix. I figured to make this video just so it brings you guys some light onto some newer coins to mine. Not all of them are profitable. Some of them, like I said, are meme coins. So you're mining them to kind of build up a bag of them in order when it does run, you're able to sell them. Because some of these coins, you can build up millions of the coins. So if the coin does take off, you are set. And some of these have had a run. They've died down, had like they've been up and down. But they have the potential to run. A lot of these are at the low point right now. So I figured to go ahead and make a video on them so you guys can go ahead and jump in. Especially with them being lower difficulty coins. You're able to solo mine these if you have enough equipment. Because some of these are on like Kapow and some of them are on their own algorithms. So it's easy to go ahead and mine and set up if you're wanting to solo mine. Just depends how much equipment you have. So let's get right into these coins and setting these up and I'll explain each coin and show you each flight sheet on how to set them up. So the first coin here we're going to take a look at is called Friend Coin. Now it's obviously as you can tell right away it's a meme coin just by like the image and everything. It's on the Kapow algorithm and it's based off a of Raven coin. So it's kind of like the meme coin for the Kapow algorithm because each algorithm seems to kind of have a little fun meme coin. And this has gained some traction especially in the past few months. It's garnered more uh, market activity and more miners on the network. But recently it's kind of died off again so people have jumped off. So it's a good chance to kind of go in. So as you see, it's just kind of like a Dogecoin spinoff, but it's for uh, it's for like the Pepe Frog here. There's Pepe Coin already. There's a lot of different like meme coins based around Pepe, but they aren't really directly mineable. This one is directly mineable through the GPU because it's through uh, Kapow. So if you are wanting to get set up, they do have a core wallet, but of course you can use an exchange, but that's not recommended much anymore. It's better just to use a core wallet. And if you want to go over the features, you can go ahead and go on their website here and check it all out. But I think it's just a fun little coin, fun little thing that you can get into early if it does take off in the next market. But if you're wanting to get the wallet, all you do is click get wallet here and it should bring you to the download the GitHub here. And all you do is download it for your corresponding uh, operating system. And then you set it up just like the Raven wallet or any other core wallet. All you do is set up like your passcode and then your paraphrase and then you're good to go. I've been running the wallet and I've had no issues. Like I said, I've been building up coins myself. So on Hive OS, if you are wanting to go ahead and mine friend coin here, you want to go over to the flight sheets, obviously, once you're selected on your farm. And then you want to click create new flight sheet. And then I have mine set up. I have a party miner. And then I have one that's a solo miner as well right here. I use G miner. You can use any miner that mines Kapow algorithm. So all you do is go up here and then you're going to add it through your wallet. So I guess you should go over that first. You go to wallets add wallet and then you type in the coin ticker so friend it'll come up as like a custom coin and then you put the wallet address from the core wallet right there and then you click create and then you can name it as well if you want and then once you have the wallet set up you go over to your flight sheet and then you type in the coin ticker so friend and then you select the wallet that you set up and then for pool you can use the one they have set but i uh use zerg pool so that way if you are wanting to solo mine it's easy to set up but all you do is click configure and miner. This just depends on the pool you're using. And then you select miner. Like I said, I use G miner and don't have any issues. So you go set up miner config. For example, we go to Zerg pool. And then we can open the pool tab here. And I could show you that it's on the Kapow algorithm here. We'll pull it up right here. And as you see, friend coin the difficulty is only 67 so it's not you don't need much mega hash in order to get a lot of blocks for it if you are wanting to solo mine what all you do is go to the home page here you select your region the algorithm which would be kapow 
and then you would set it up for friend so you can go to down the f's there's friend coin and then you can target so you just directly mine friend so that way you're not mining anything else and then you can set it up as solo or party or just a pool so whichever option it's going to spit out the password for you right there depending if you want to do pool or whatever and then all you do is put the information into there so I'll, i will quickly set it up here just to show you guys so you would take the stratum copy that pool server you paste that in you can just copy that remove that paste support remove the colons <clears throat> here the username is just the wallet address so you just put the wallet there and then password you want to copy it for however you set it up either solo pool or whatever and then obviously depending on the pool you're using and then all you do is click apply changes and then you would name it and click create flight sheet and then it should come up right there and that's setting it up for friend coin now hopefully i'm not going too fast for you guys but i got multiple coins to show you so i figure just to kind of quickly zoom through but an exchange i use for all the coins i'm going to show you today is this one right here i'll post it in the description and it has all the coins I'm mining. So for example, we'll go to friend coin here. And as you see, the price is pretty low. So it's a good time to mine it and get in. It's had a run up before. Let's we'll zoom out. It did run. I got into it here. It's kind of hard with these charts because it's just a lower coin. But it has gotten up pretty high. It's gotten up to 0 0.001. And it's ran up a little higher too. It's just the chart's a little messed up. But you can search up any coin that you want to mine from this video here. But yeah, we'll get started with the next coin. And it's Pepe Pow. So it's Pepe W for short form. And you may have heard of this. I've made a video on it. And it's its own uh, algorithm. So it's meme hash, conveniently enough, because it's another meme coin. It's built off, obviously, Pepe itself. But then it has its own algorithm. So it's actually GPU mineable. So you are able to mine it with GPUs. And I don't know about ASICs and stuff. But if you want to check out any information, you can come over to the website. Now, I didn't set up a core wallet for this, but obviously you can. You can go full node. Uh, there's a software audit. There's a faucet. But you can go ahead and use an exchange wallet. I use the exchange wallet for Pepe Pow just from uh, this one here. So if we search it up, obviously you have to sign up and everything. But here's Pepe Pow chart. We can quickly take a look at it. Let's see if this one's a little better. So... Obviously, it started out high. Always when they get listed, they drop. But I mined it when it was down here, and it kind of had a pump and a drop, pump, drop. So get in, and maybe it might have another pump during the next market. It's just good to get in the smaller coins sometimes. But yeah, as I mentioned, it is with meme hash. So what you want to do is come over to your wallets page again, and then you're going to add the Pepe Pow. So same thing. You go Pepe, and then Pepe W, because it's not directly Pepe. And then you want to add in the Pepe Pow address, depending on the wallet you're using, and then enter the name. And then you go over to Flight Sheets here. I have mine set up, so I'll quickly show you it fully set up. I'm using SRB Miner. It doesn't have too many miners to use for Meme Hash, so I have had no problem with this. It works on NVIDIA, AMD, and CPU. So all you want to do is come up here, and then you type in Pepe W. Make sure it has that W, because that's Pepe Pow. And then I'll... Um, Oh, I guess I don't have the wallet. I may have set it up under Pepe by accident. Let's see. No. X out. So yeah, I guess I messed up, but put it under Pepe W just for easier. And then select pool, configure miner. And then miner, like I said, SRB miner is your best one here. And I use the same pool as Zerg pool. So you set up miner config. And then depending on the pool, you put wallet address. And then you're going to put the stratum URL there. And then that password again. And then you click apply changes and create flight sheet just depending on the pool you're using of course and like i said just use srb miner i've had no issues with it and then i've had no issues using an exchange wallet for pet bay pal as well so you can go ahead and do that i've used this pool um this exchange as i mentioned so you can go ahead and sign up and get started with them if you feel they have other exchanges as well you just have to go on their website and check it all out if you want to learn more and decide to mine it now this next one i literally just did a video on it it was my most recent upload there so you can go ahead and check it out if you want a more in-depth look into the nexa and nexa pow the algorithm but as we see here you, you can come over to the website and you can read all about it and for nexa here they do have a web wallet and they also have a core wallet and just depending on what you want to use like i've mentioned before i can show you 
I use a web wallet. This is the one for Nexa here. You can put in your password and then it'll pull it up and you're good to go. But yeah, this is the next coin, obviously, is Nexa. And it's ran on its own algorithm, Nexa Pow. It's pretty good. I kind of equate it close to like uh, Auto Lycos 2 or Ergo, if you will. So it kind of doesn't take too much power consumption. It's not too hard on cards. You can run it on 3 gigabyte cards, 4 gigabyte cards and higher. I've ran it on GTX 1060, 3 gigabyte and had no issues. And obviously it's still a smaller coin and smaller project. We can come over here and take a look at it. It hasn't had too much hype or anything. It's been around a little bit, not too long here. We can zoom out and take a look. As you see, it's not horrible. It came out in April. It had a pretty good pump off to start. It's kind of dropped off and had another recent good pump and it's dropped off. So if it's following the pattern, you should probably get in mining it because it might have another good pump here. And then you can go ahead and use the web wallet or core wallet. But the setup is going to be the same except it's on its own algorithm. So you come over here to Hive OS and you're going to set it up in wallets. So you go over here and then you type in Nexa. You want to look for this little like yellow triangle. And then you type in the wallet address that you are using. Just enter the name and click create, of course. Then you come over to flight sheets here. I have mine made here. I use LOL Miner. It works for NVIDIA and AMD. And as you see, it's all set up here. I use Unminable because it's the lowest payout. But anywho, you can check that in my recent video. You want to type in the coin, so Nexa, obviously. Then your Nexa wallet. And then pools here. You can use two miners and Cryptex and all these other ones. Like I said, I use Unminable here. So you come over here and then I use LOL Miner. You set up Miner Config. And then Wallet and Worker Template here. Um, I believe because it's Unminable, you will go Nexa and then colon, and then wallet address, and then you can put dot, and then your worker name as well. And then you can use the pool server for unminable, the port, the password. You can set it up for whichever pool. I just kind of want to show you guys how to get the base of it set up in Hive OS. The pool choice is yours. So as we see for mine down here, all you do is punch in the info and click apply changes. You set this up depending on the pool. Most pools just require it to be wallet. But so just the wallet address, but unminable requires you to put the symbol and stuff. As you see in my recent video, as you see down here, nexapow-us.unminable.com and it's port 80. And then the algorithm's Nexa and then it's set up, like I said, Nexa colon wallet dot worker name. So the wallet address is going to have Nexa colon and that's just how it's set up. That's nothing to do with unminable or anything. That's going to be your wallet template. So make sure to use the full Nexa colon and then the actual wallet address because that's how it corresponds with itself. But that's how you get it set up to run on uh, Nexa Pow. Just make sure it's selected on Nexa up here. It's the same with like Pepe Pow. Make sure it's selected on Meme Hash and Friend Coin is Kapow. And then all you do is click Create Flight Sheet and you should be good to go there. And most of these, like these first three, you can do them all on GPU. Meme Hash, so for Pepe Pow is four gigabyte and higher. This one's three gigabyte and higher. And Kapow is also 4 gigabyte and higher depending on the 4 gigabyte card. Some can run it, some cannot. But the last coin we're going to look at here is Scala or XLA. I've made some videos on this recently. It is a CPU mineable coin and also a mobile coin. I'm going to show you how to set it up for CPU because I did a mobile video for it. If you want to go check that out, it's in my recent uploads. It gives an in-depth look at Scala and the website and setting it up on your mobile phone, tablet. And I'm going to show you how to do it on CPU here through uh, Hive OS if you want to do it that way. Or it's just going to give you the option of doing it on Windows so you know what miner to use and everything like that. So if you come over to the Scala website here, as you see, it's just optimized for all lower end technology, CPUs and GP, I mean, uh, CPUs and mobile, and that's all that can mine it. You can go ahead and get the mobile miner here, and then you can go ahead and get the Scala Vault, which is the mobile application wallet, which is what I use. And then it's going to give you your address and everything for Scala. You just might have to email it to yourself and stuff because it's on a mobile device. Like I said, it's on one of my Android phones. But once you get that downloaded, you should get a uh, wallet address. I'm not sure of any other web wallets. There is the exchange you can use over here for Scala as well. As you can see here, they have it listed. So XLA, Scala, and it's had a pretty solid run. We'll quickly take a peek at it here. So uh, it, it's been around for a little bit, but as you see recently, it's kind of popped up. So as we see, 
It started out high and it's dropped off, just like most coins is how it works when it's listed. Had a little bit of a run, and then it's kind of dropped off again. I've been mining on mobile device and somewhat on CPU, but if you are wanting to set this up on CPU, I haven't really had much luck mining on CPU with Hive OS, but I'm going to show you just for this sake so that way you know what miner to use if you are wanting to CPU mine it on Windows or anything. But all you do is click Add Wallet and then type in XLA and it'll be this one. It'll be the only one. And then you put in the wallet address from the mobile application that you set up and then you enter the name. And then you go to Flight Sheets here. I have one set up here, but like I said, I haven't had luck for it to work on Hive OS because my CPU doesn't show up. But anywho, as we see, we go to coin ticker, XLA, wallet, Scala, the one I used, and then you can use fast pool, hero miners. Um, I believe I use the Scala project, so it's the developers and community, they made a pool, so you can just mine directly on Scala project. Uh, for the miner here, I use XM rig new. And then you use XM rig on your PC if you want to set it up on Windows. And then all you do here, as you see, there's the algorithm. And then uh, this one's a little different to set up here. So template. No, I didn't mean to create that. Set up minor config. Wallet template. I'm pretty sure it's just wallet address. And then you put the pool. So for here, Scala projects. We'll quickly go to it. You can go to getting started here. And it's going to show you everything you need. There's the address. And then if you are using low end, so like mobile and stuff, you use this port. You can even use this on PC or use this one on PC, depending on the device you're using and how powerful your CPU is. Here's all the miners you can use. You can directly download them or set them up in your Hive OS if you're wanting to use it. But yeah, overall, pretty nice coin because it doesn't allow ASICs or anything. It even doesn't allow GPU, so it's strictly for CPU and mobile. So it's pretty fair and allows most people to get involved because it's lower end equipment and only mobile phones you really need. But yeah, I figured just to put this uh, video together, just to show you guys a lump sum of uh, coins and stuff to mine and algorithms. And these are smaller ones, like I said, so you're able to build them up. And who knows, maybe cash out one day. They're not a profitable mine. The only one close to a profitable mine is Nexa. It has somewhat profitability depending on how it's doing in the market. But you're able to mine it on like nice hash and two miners and stuff. So it's built up a pretty strong community. But I imagine it's going to have another solid run during the next uh, bull run. Because obviously we're in quite the market right now with everything being down. We've had a few pumps here and there. But I figure it's a good opportunity for people to build up smaller coins. Or if you're wanting to mine like I mine Ergo and Flux mainly. And then you know a couple weeks out of the month or even a week out of the month. I'll go ahead and mine these smaller coins. Just to go ahead and build up a wallet of them because you never know with meme coins it takes one tweet one little thing one little something just to pop off because they're fun little projects like you get this little character here and it's just funny it's picking up a little bit of trend on twitter or x whatever you want to call it same with pepe pow nexa is just becoming a more reliable coin to mine scale is good for mobile and cpu so it's locked into that it has that market behind it and like I said, if you want to check out any of these coins, you can go ahead and check this exchange. There are other smaller exchanges if you look into these coins' websites and stuff. And there's a wide variety of pools. I mainly use Zerg Pool when it comes to smaller coins. They're the first ones to list it, and they also have a solo mining option where some pools don't. But yeah, this ended up being a longer video. I apologize. Like I said, it's just because I kind of want to summarize everything into one video here. So that's all I got for you guys today. If you did enjoy the video, make sure to hit that like and subscribe button as it lets me know you're enjoying my content and you're actually learning something from it. And that way you get notified if I post new videos and everything like that. But I hope you all have an amazing day. And this is Krebsy Crypto signing out.